Hello everyone, Fluffy here, uh, back with another mukbang. I don't know how many days it's been. I don't think it's been like forever since the last time before that, you know, when it took me forever to film again. So what I have for you today is, um, I started filming right away, so, um, barbecue chicken it was in the slow cooker and then the last 10 or 15 minutes she added some barbecue sauce to it that's why it doesn't look like on the grill barbecue sauce or barbecue chicken or even in the oven barbecue chicken uh, she bought a new crock pot she'd had it forever and um, and then you know with dividing property or whatever since we had the new one we left the other one for uh, the ex to have uh, so um, here is some onions that I believe were cooked with the, the chicken because she knows I love onions. We have a uh, potatoes and green bean side dish. Uh, I think it looks like butter and herb. And then this, we haven't had this in like forever. And it is um, an Asian salad mix. It's got cabbage in it and corn and onions and it's got this Asian dressing. It's like a ginger dressing. It is so good. It's got everything that you want. Pre-cut and everything. You dump it in a bowl, add the dressing. Uh, I think there's these, uh, they're not corn chips. I think they're like the egg roll wrappers and they, I uh, see because I, I don't know if you can hear it. I hear it in my head, you know what I mean? Uh, and they're so good. I love these kits and we, ha we used to just binge on them and. Um, they have it. Uh, what I have is lemon water, you know, in my medical cup. <laughs> it's the biggest cup we have. So. Oh, before I forget, I did do a, um, a close-up, and I'll stick it right in here. Oh my God, doesn't that look so good close up, especially that slaw, and then you saw the close up of the pieces of chicken. Oh my God, let's dig right in. Dig right up. Mmm, mmm, got that barbecue flavor, and it's tender like the slow roast, because it was in the crock pot. And I'm a dark meat fan, you know, I can do a breast, especially the daughter, she can, you know, breasts are normally really dry. But she can do a good breast. She can make it come out tender. So that's why I'm not a fan. The wife used to cook them. You know, she's, you know, she can, her, the dishes that she knows how to make, they were good. But when she would do a breast, they'd cook too long or something and they'd dry out. But all in all, I am a dark meat person. So these drumsticks are just right up my alley. Mm. So... What has everybody been doing? Since I saw them last, hope everybody's weekend was well. Went well. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. I still haven't been out of the house and I'm really getting antsy. I haven't seen my mother in two weeks and I haven't even called her. I've been not such a good daughter. I really need to get over there and see her. So. Mmm. Mmm. These are good. Potatoes delicious. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. Lipsticks everywhere. That what happens. My daughter bought me a new shade of lip gloss or lipstick. It's the Infallible. I think it said Infallible Party. So it's real pretty. I like it. I like it. I love this Asian salad. It's so good. Oh, I wanted to bring something up for you YouTubers. Um, especially the mukbangers. I got, and I only thought it was one of my videos, but it's two of my videos. And the monetization got taken off because it said that my content was not advertiser friendly. Um, when I looked at the criteria, the list of things that might make it not advertiser friendly, my content doesn't have that. One of them was Mukbang 55. It was the, um, hang on. God dang it. Oh, the shrimp and shrimp and chicken, shrimp and fish, shrimp and uh, ravioli and uh, the other one and I found out after the fact when I was going through them was the sardine tasting the mukbang where I tasted all those sardines and I watched the the ravioli one and I couldn't see because it said anything nudity you know I'm gonna make it uh, nudity porn um, suggestive content um Um, trying to sell something that wasn't mine or something. Um, just, you know, it was like a lot of bad content. And I just don't see why it could have gotten gig. I didn't watch the sardine one, but I'm really careful about that. Like, one time, I was not even, I was still, um, um, editing and I was adding music you know how in some of my videos there's music in the beginning um I wouldn't monetize it because I was using um copyrighted sorry there's carrots in here and I want to make sure it's not getting in my tooth so I'm chewing it weird and it's making talking hard so I apologize um copyrighted music I'm like, but I got it off YouTube editor's list. So it happened twice. One of them was, it was my New Year's one, and I was trying to put Old Lang Syne on it. And I had searched that one. So I said, well, maybe it gives me some that aren't copyrighted and I didn't check. But then I tried it again and for a different video, a, a song, and it did it again. And that's why I don't do music anymore because I don't want any problems. So... If y'all could watch it, or anybody who knows a lot about that stuff, watch it and tell me what you think, because I don't change anything on the videos because I didn't see anything wrong with them, and I ask for a review, and they're still under review. So if you could watch it and let me know. It's not like I'm trying to get views because it's not monetized, so I'm not going to get paid if you, if you watch it again. But let me know. The only other thing that I could think of, but I didn't do it twice in each video, on the Ravi only one I had mentioned, and I hope this doesn't. Well, I don't want this one gig. Let's just put this up. Apparently, AdSense, Google AdSense, can also gig a video or port a video if you put something on there that where you have. Uh, I guess advertise a different way to make money that wouldn't benefit AdSense. Um, um, there's a whole list of things from 
that Google AdSense could do. And if you do enough of them, then you can lose your AdSense account, which that's how YouTube pays you. And mind you, I've only gotten paid once, so it's not like I'm losing a ton of money. It's just that I wish they would have told me so that I could fix the video and that I wouldn't make that same mistake again. But seeing as how I don't think I did anything wrong, how am I going to know what to fix, if that makes sense? So if y'all could watch either one of those and let me know, you can either put it in the comments or um, email me at fluffyhatesfibro at gmail or um, personal message me. If you go to my screen and there's an about, uh, about tab, you click that about tab and somewhere in there it says contact or message and let me know because that I watched a video on how to dispute it and the form it said to fill out I could never figure out how to do it but the guy said on the video and how true it is I don't know the guy says computers do it can do it and it's real easy to have it uh, reversed and uh, he said in two or three days it should be up but it's been two or three days for the first one and it still says under review so I don't know I don't want to do anything that's going to cause trouble you know what I mean so anyway that'll kind of flip me out and I think I knew that when I did the vlog and I meant to ask y'all and I forgot so Mm. This mix comes out of one of those steam bags, and um, I don't really like the taste of these green beans. I said they were good initially; they were, but my daughter says it's the the dressing on them. I'm not a fan. I may pick at it, but if I don't eat it, that's why. Potatoes taste pretty good. But can you really ruin a potato? I'm gonna pick that up and chew it. Bite it. So, my daughter had her interview yesterday, and there's a lot of people going up for the out-of-town job because they're all out itching to leave home base. <laughs> we'll be out of here! <laughs> but she thinks she has a good chance of getting it. Because a lot of the interview was spent on, well, you know how to do this. You know all about that. <laughs> well, she has a real good feeling about the interview, so that's good. Good for her, bad for me. I will miss her, but she's a young person, you know. She needs to get out and do, and it's, um... To a state she hasn't been before, this job has really allowed her to see a lot of the country, so it's really exciting for her. And I didn't have her, I don't have her permission to tell you where it is she's going out of town. I mean, I mean, I would just say the state, but I did not have her permission, so 
I'm not going to tell you. If she tells me I can, then I'll tell you in the next video where she's going. Should she get the out-of-town assignment. So. Mm. I just kind of eat, start eating this chicken though. <laughs> so I've been um, trying to catch up on people's videos, especially the ones that I um, try to watch quite regularly. Watched a few of um, Losing Drea. Uh, that's her, <clears throat> the name of her um, channel. I'll try to remember and put the link at the bottom of the description. Mm. If I can, I'll put a card up here to advertise her channel. Um, she's doing the keto diet. Apparently, she's doing really good on it. I remember doing Atkins, Atkins and it's that's kind of a spinoff of the Atkins diet. Real close to it, apparently. Um. She's doing um, really well. You know, she's got some uh, stressors in her life right now, and she had asked for prayer in one of her um, videos. So, even if you don't know her, can you put her on your prayer list? Hmm. Apparently, the ghosts are in the kitchen. <laughs> I think mean, they followed us from the other house. <laughs> no. We had the windows open. And I told you at the end of the kitchen is a window. And we have it open. And the wind's like gusting 35 miles an hour. And it's just coming through here like a freight train. And I think that's what knocked it over. So, God, leave those. This, this looks good, but I just. Hmm. Now the green beans are okay, and the potatoes don't taste good. Got some really good feedback on my last vlog, um, my coming out story, and a little bit of relationship advice. <laughs> I mean, how good is my advice? Process of a divorce, <laughs> but it was just advice on what I felt like caused us to derail. So. Bones don't look very appetizing. I know a lot of my fathers take it off, so I will do the same. If you don't care, let me know. I think I usually worry about it. For some reason today, I'm worried about it. <laughs> I threw my hair up, looking like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> That's all right. Y'all are used to my busted biscuits. <laughs> Mm-hmm.
Hmm. Who else have I been watching? Ben Dean. Apparently he's having relationship troubles too. I feel bad. I mean, we've never had her, his girlfriend, SJ, on camera, on camera. I mean, we've seen her, her hands <laughs> and flashes of her when he does outside vlogging. But it's a shame. He seems like a sweet boy and she seems like a sweet girl. So I hope they can work things out. So you're in my thoughts, Ben, and I thought I would ever think that all the way in Korea you're watching mine, but I wish you well. Um, mm. Superfly, you were savage on those fire noodles. If you saw my fire noodle challenge that I did with the X, I was a wuss. And I eat spicy all the time. And I know you don't do spicy that often. Um, you were savage. You only had one bite left, seems like, before you finally did the water. And you did awesome i could have not i did i could not i say i could not i did not go that far i wussed out long before you ever did so congrats on that challenge you did awesome i don't know how much how how your collabors collaborators did the ones you listed i don't normally watch them but you did fantastic congrats on that else views on the road delicious food as usual girl um, your mole dish looks so good but I've never really liked mole I've had it twice in my life it was done by two different people one at a restaurant I think a family did the other one I can't remember but I was younger and so I've been kind of gun shy to try mole anywhere again but yours looked like seriously good so Watched a couple of her. I'm trying to catch up. James Lee, you are such a cutie patootie. I'm telling you, I enjoy your videos. I mean, I only watch your mukbangs, not your, um, critiques and stuff of like I think it's what you do videos and survivor but I love your butt bombs. My fiance is so so cute. <laughs> Y'all doing the anchovy pizza one <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> I don't I I don't think I'd mind anchovies. You know what I mean? Because I like fish even fishy fish um because there is like dehydrated shrimp that i can eat just out of the pouch you're supposed to put it in food to flavor it kind of like a spice it comes in a little mexican bag the fiesta brand but i love them to pop them just like that so i think because you know anchovies is also in worcestershire sauce there's anchovies in that But that was hilarious. Mm. T and Lee. Needs to hurry up and put out another video. <laughs> and I'll tell you whose videos that I like. I mean, I've always liked Kimmy. I enjoy watching her videos. She was one of the first ones that I was watching when I started um, watching mukbangs ago because 
mukbangs again. Because a long time ago, first mukbangs I ever watched were bands. And I, I mentioned this in one of my real earlier videos. B-A-N-Z-Z. -Z. In Korea, they're live. The, the mukbangs are live. And they talk in them. But they're talking to the people that they're live chatting with the people because they're live. But for them, it's eating massive amounts of food. I mean, the food that he eats and he's like a string bean, it just, it blows my mind. And then I stop watching for a while and then all of a sudden Kimmy pops up and she apparently is one of the first mukbangers in the U.S., which like kudos to you, young lady. Um, her boyfriend, Dong, and his web, his channel is Dong Diggity. And uh, not that he needs any promotion, but I can put his link. And everybody that I've mentioned, if I can remember and learn, I'll either do cards, links, or combo to try to, you know, otherwise they're pretty easy. I'm sure if you're, if you're subscribed to me, then you're subscribed to all these people. But i uh, watched a few of Don Diggity's, and the ones that I've watched, he's so funny. He's so funny. Kimmy, she tries to help him, but it's almost like a together video, even though you only see him in the camera. She's done so many, you know, she can't help but be in, you know, because I did that to the wife, too, to the ex. I'm talking in the background. <laughs> but yeah, he's hilarious. He's very funny. If you think I'm funny, then you'll think he's hilarious. He's funny. I guess I was hungry. I'm almost done, y'all. <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> Let's sit down with gum. It's okay. <laughs> that little knobby at the top. I don't know why it was a problem before, I guess because I didn't bite into it. I didn't show any of this close up, did I, y'all? But you already got a close up in the front, so is it really necessary? Because I'm always afraid, like, this stuff will get on the computer. And then here's those. Let's try it one time, right? Mm hmm. Let me see if the seatbelt fits. Oh, that freaked me out. I thought there was a spider on my foot. Somehow Miss Molly got underneath. Hey, boo boo. I think I have a. This is not feed your dog, but they're right here, so. I haven't drank that much water, have I? Mm -hmm. 
and I suck. I still haven't filled up my salt and pepper shaker in here. <laughs> I just saw it. I'm like, oh, damn it, I forgot. Fine, good, it does mean empty. But I didn't need it today, so. We keep the door open a lot. We're getting spiders in here. I'm going to tell you how terrified. I am terrified of spiders. I'm getting tagged in memes all the time on Facebook. About people being afraid of spiders. Because I'm definitely scared of spiders. Your daughter usually gets them. The other night. There was a spider. I kid you not. Legs almost as big as my lens. My daughter wasn't awake. I was petrified. So, there happened to be <laughs> some Febreze. We have the pet odor one because we have three dogs and they do get on the furniture. I wasted so much, I Febreze the sucker and it finally died. <laughs> I was terrified. And even after it was belly up, I kept watching it to make sure it didn't move. <laughs> so, when I put my foot forward, remember I told you I have the pet bed on my feet and I use it as a carpet. Then I moved my foot forward a little bit, and I felt something furry, but it was this molly. <laughs> that was fine. One more piece, then you're gonna go, okay? Oh, dogs, I'm a sucker for a sad face. Can y'all hear that wind? really loud in my ears sitting here so sometimes I think y'all can hear a noise and then you can't so hopefully it's soothing like the rain was with the chicken mukbang and I thought it was going to be annoying for y'all I like the sound of that wind but well, some people might find it off-putting so if you do I apologize ahead of time And those of you that like it, surprise! <laughs> hmm. I'm watching Martin Nicky. I love him. He's so full of energy. I have to, even though his videos are short, I have to watch him in spurts. And he knows this, and he shouldn't change it just for me because. It's got views, so people like it, but I suffer real bad from motion sickness, and I miss a lot of movies where it's supposed to be suspenseful because people are holding the camera, and you're supposed to be seeing the events in their eyes recording, and I can't watch it. I get really motion sick, so I have to watch his in spurts, but I finish them because I enjoy watching them, but he loves to twirl the camera when he's in the kitchen. It's like, stand still, boy. But I've been watching them. I've been watching Sarah Jane. Watched her Mexican food one. That stuff looked good. I'm with you, girl. <clears throat> I'm with you, girl. Sorry, I had to pause it. I was talking and I breathed in, and a piece of cabbage said. <laughs> I love me some cheese. I love Korean food and I love cheese. I think I was a, a, a Korean mouse in my former life. 
I love cheese and that queso looks so good. Kudos to you for losing that 80 pounds. Because losing weight is very hard for fibro people. And those of you that don't have it are thinking, no, it's not. No, it is. Because it's the moving, you know, hard to exercise. And for me, you know, I remember you said in your comment to me that you, you know, you can't work out, which we can't. Well, I guess we could, but it would kill us. We would run the risk of flaring. But, and you walk. But, I can't walk far distances at a time. Very difficult for me. You know, or I can't stand for very long. So, well, I'm sorry I'm going to have to let this potatoes and stuff go to waste. Well, I just I just don't like the flavor, and I like rosemary, and she said it was rosemary, but I, I just can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> so y'all just got to be mad at me and talk bad about me. <laughs> I can't finish, finish the green beans. <laughs> but anyway, uh, don't forget, if you would, please, to check out the two videos I was talking about. Um, One is the raviolis. I think it's shrimp and chicken or... No, shrimp and crab ravioli. It's, I know that one is um, mukbang 55. And then the other one is, I don't know which one it was. I think it was before that one, and it was the sardines. Um, I haven't watched that one, but... Because I need to know what's in them that they gig me on it so that I don't do it again. You do it or say it again. Uh, so... Just let me know either in the comments here or uh, wherever. I'm going to do another. Y'all had like real positive things to say about my coming out story, that particular vlog. Uh, especially because I kind of opened up about myself a little bit. So um, if you have any specific questions that you would like to ask me. Um, I've said this before and nobody really answers me. And I think it's because um, y'all are respecting my aunt. Am anonymity and I really appreciate that you know I don't like pressure you know especially when I've said I'm not going to answer you know private personal questions but um some things like that I could talk about so if you have questions you know not what's your name you know things like that but just general questions um I, I'll answer what I can so if you want to ask a question and I can answer it just put it in, in the comments here and I'll try to include them in my next vlog. Um, that was nice. Didn't really feel like eating in front of the camera, you know. Uh, but I thought, oh, let me do a vlog. And people have been asking about the coming out story. And, um, and like I said on the video, I, you know, I didn't want it to be the lesbian that had a vlog. I mean, I had a channel. I just wanted to be a, a, muk, a fibro mukbang challenge, uh, channel. And then I just happened to be lesbian. So uh, I had been hesitant, and I thought, well, no, it wouldn't hurt. I mean, I've said it enough, so they know that's, I'm not trying to be that. You know, there are some channels that are are that, and that's fine. You know, you know what I mean? Like, um, I guess there's a couple, I think they're in Canada. I started watching them, and then I stopped watching them, but their channel name specifically, you know, uh, the, cha the descriptions are the lesbian couple, eat, whatever, whatever. Um, and that's, that's cool. It just, that's not what I wanted to do. So I kind of was hesitating to really talk about that side of my life. But um, it turned out pretty good. And I, I thank y'all. So far, no thumbs down. I don't think I got a thumbs down. <laughs> I get at least two. <laughs> so, but I guess that's pretty good. And no trolls. So, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, so, Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of y'all. Remember to always be kind. And uh, don't forget to come back to my channel to see my next video. Y'all take care. Bye.